Brooklyn Independent Television. Drawing inspiration from his circus performing parents, Seamus O'Brien is a multimedia visual artist whose work is full of cartoonish whimsy. His wife Heather is a fellow artist and entrepreneur with her own graphic recording company. Talk about a talented power couple. Let's go check out their studios. My name is Seamus O'Brien and my artwork would be considered painting and drawing, I suppose. Uh, it has a little bit of uh, theater to it, circus aspects, drama, colorful. My parents uh, were circus performers. My father wrote a book about his exploits on the circus. His neighbor was a vaudeville act and he picked up the slack wire and juggling in unicycle. So he was doing vaudeville acts and performing on stage. He was performing in the Midwest. And he meets my mother, who was working in the military as well. She was a spy for the government and decoding information. He got her to, to join the act, so then they started touring uh, the country as a circus performer. They did a unicycle act, uh, a wire act. And my mom, she was. She was part of the act and she did the web and then eventually she became uh, more of an assistant, so like Vanna White, and sort of looked pretty and helped my dad out. My parents were like, okay, we're gonna settle down and live in Florida. Um, and then they started doing the parade. And eventually, as I was getting older, the circus stuff started to kind of die down. My father, he didn't want me to forget my past, essentially, so during the summers, we would sort of do a father-son thing and go to uh, work on the Ringling Brothers show. We had a concession stand of doing clown makeup for the kids. And then when I turned 16, he was like, hey, you know, why don't you uh, get a job doing character performing at Walt Disney World? Because, you know, I know some people. And, and I, you know, I was like, sure, let's do it. So, like for the next, I think I did it for about eight years. Um, I was a character performer. So I, I performed as Goofy and Tigger and Eeyore. I went back and I'm looking at a lot of circus related imagery, a lot of uh, freak show banners and circus posters and just the amusement park vibe. So I'm influenced by that. For a long time I worked at a toy store and I think coming from the Disney environment uh, of this abstract sort of childlike environment. So I've been collecting toys and I, I like to add toys into my imagery. So it's like a little bit of circus and then I had a little bit of Disney, and then I, I did sign painting for a while, so you put a little bit of that in, and uh, you mix it up, and um, that's, that's what I get. Yeah, I've been buying these compulsively for, for years, and I, I just, they've sort of expanded in all these different uh, genres and themes. And, and then I, I will use it somehow. Yeah, a lot of times I, I, I buy toys and then I would just cut them apart and repaint them and put them back together and just see what you get. I don't know, I don't know what to do with it, but I, I, it's fun to do. Like I do a lot of floating head imagery. And as a kid, I was really into uh, Warner Brothers cartoons. I also like that idea of the, the floating head for uh, in Wizard of Oz, and everyone goes to see the wizard. You know, I mean, he's essentially you know, he's God, he can do anything. And you know, the story of the Wizard of Oz is it ends up being it's all smoke and mirrors. I work large scale drawings, but I also keep sketchbooks and I keep different themed sketchbooks. It's sort of like channels in my head, so I have like all these different stories, so I try to put them all down in book form. It took around four years to do this book. So the pages, it starts when I was at school at the University of Florida. And then when I worked at uh, Disney World, I would uh, bring my sketchbook and, and, you know, like for instance, here's my schedule as Tigger or Goofy. And then a lot of the heads and the costumes I'd wear. 
And as a character, you'd always get gifts from children. And kids, they always have such a great imagination. So, for instance, as Tigger, I'd go to tables for breakfast and we'd meet and greet kids. And they'd always give you little drawings, like, hey, Tigger, I drew this. And I love, like, this is how that kid sees me. It's like this weird shape, and then Piglet and Eeyore. So I, I always try to keep that type of work, uh, uh, that's Captain Hook. And then I practice my signature. But based off those kids' drawings, I would just sort of make it more three-dimensional based off of his vision of, say, what Eeyore looked like or Tigger. But it was a lot of fun to do that. And uh, when I worked at a toy store, um, they found out I did character work, so I did Corduroy Bear. I'd show up at the toy store. I keep rejection letters from companies, so I applied at Pixar, and they said no. And then this... <laughs> This is Walt Disney Animation, and, and they said, no thanks. And this book's great because it shows uh, some of my early snowman imagery. Yeah, right here. So this is what started all, actually. My name is Heather Willems. I'm both a fine artist and a business owner. Um, my fine art is a lot of text-based imagery. I use text to create an image through layers and repetition. And then in my business, I also use text and image, but I use that to communicate business strategies or a lot of knowledge sharing in conferences. I was working on a large-scale installation that captured my stream of conscious thought in text. So I was writing out in pencil whatever came to mind on um, two large scale drawings. At the time, I was also waitressing and serving drinks in a bar. And um, to keep myself interested, I started writing down people's conversations on napkins. So I was taking those eavesdropped conversations back into the studio and I would transform them into large-scale murals. So I was serving drinks to somebody and they're like, oh my god, we just had the worst day ever. Can you please just tell us about your life? I'm like, sure, I'm an artist and I eavesdrop on people's conversations and make them into murals. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, you should come. I have a gallery show. You should come and check out my art. Wait, 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 wait. So you take people's conversations and turn them into pictures? I was like, yeah, that's what I do. Like, you know you can get a job doing that? I was like, no, no way. ImageThink is our graphic recording business. So when we go into the businesses, we're usually set up at the front of the room on, on large scale paper and we're up there with our markers and we synthesize the conversation and transform it into words and pictures. We don't know anything about the content when we go into these meetings. Nora and I really bring in our own visual language into the room. So we're, we're creating metaphors for what's being said. Um, so a lot of times if people get stuck and they, you know, they're repeating the same thing over and over again, they can use the metaphors that we're drawing up on the wall and they can use those to um, facilitate the conversation. Liam and I met in grad school, and I think that we, we really worked well together. He comes from like a background of drawing, and I come from photography and writing. So I think that he's really inspired me in a lot of ways um, to push my limits and like encourage me to, to do drawing. I love Prospect Heights. It's a great place to live. It just had a real like neighborhoody vibe. Like there's like kids running around the street. And it's been in the past couple of years, it's really like shifted. We've been noticing a lot more artists moving into the, the neighborhood. There's like all these like new pubs popping up. Um, that's really cool that Brooklyn Museum, the Botanical Gardens, all the restaurants, you know, it's really great. We love it. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.